Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to record your screen in Microsoft Stream. Without further ado, let's get started. Here I am with the website called web.microsoftstream.com. So this is what we are going to use it for today to record our screen so that the students can watch the video offline or if they can if we are on if you want to upload it to youtube or if you want to share it in the hand we can do that so how are we going to do that what we are going to do here is we are going to click on this button called create over here before starting this i would like to remind remind you that this is coming under uh, microsoft 365's official subscription plan so if your institute or if your uh, having an institute email ID where you have the stream subscription, in fact, Microsoft Teams subscription, then you must also have a subscription called Microsoft Stream. Most likely, you will definitely have that subscription. Then you can use your Microsoft Stream website to record your screen very easily. I should definitely tell you that it has a very good clarity recording and also a good audio uh, coming out of your system. In fact, it has my noise recording, noise cancellation system as well. Okay, let's get started with by clicking on this create button to start recording our screen as well as ourselves in webcam. So let's click on this create button and click on the record screen to start our recording. While once you click on this recording button, then what it's going to give us, it's going to give an overview of how it's going to look. So let me click on this start recording button then I will explain what's going on. So you can choose your camera over here if you are having multiple cameras over there. So right now I have one camera called Lenovo EC camera which has come been built in my laptop or you can use another cameras which is right now I have on one virtual camera it's also set up. You can also choose your mic over here. Right now I have my uh, default mic is set up over here. You can choose your mic if you are using any other mic. And right let's Click on start recording and let's see what it's asking. If I click on start recording, what it does is it just puts me right in the top, sorry, bottom right corner to see my webcam and also it's going to be recorded for the students. So it's actually draggable. I can put it wherever I want. I can see whenever the content has been uh, hidden by the web, my webcam, I can always drag it over here and move it. I can also drag it completely so that the students will see the my video more than the content so anything is possible so now what i'm going to do is i'm very happy with this position so i'm going to keep it right here and i'm going to choose my screen which one has to be recorded right now i have my two screens one is uh, having my uh, place what i'm using it the laptop and other one is the another monitor where i'm recording the current video so I'm going to share this screen. If you are having only one screen or if you are using only your laptop and you don't have your monitor connected in, then you might not see the two scenes and then you will be seeing only one screen. So let me click on this screen one and click on share. So why the time I click on share, then what is it going to do here is, it's going to give me a three second countdown to start my video. So what I can do within three seconds, I can switch back to wherever I want to go. So what I want to do here is after clicking on share, I want to switch back to this window and to start giving the lecture. So let me go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on share right now and I'm going to wait for the countdown. And by the time the countdown is finished, then I'll start the lecture. So that's what I'm going to do. So click on share. Three, two, yes. So now I'm switching on this. Okay, hi students, uh, this is David. Uh, I'm going to discuss today on graphical representation of data. And this is what we are going to see all of them. Ah, my video has been hiding this place and I'm going to little shrink it and I'm going to move it this place. Yeah, so that's good. Okay guys, I think uh, you're all good. I'm going to click on this and moving this place and I'm very well satisfied with the lecture. Thanks a lot for watching and I will Get back to you in the later. Once you finish the video, you come over this place again to the Microsoft Stream and press this button called pause recording, right? So that's going to pause your recording for a moment. 
and then you can either restart your recording if you are having some trouble or you can stop the recording at that place and then move ahead to download the video or to upload it to stream directly. So what we are going to do here is I'm happy with the video whatever has happened right now. It was a 40 seconds video, 46 seconds video. I'm going to click on next over here. So click on next over this place and that's going to give you the preview of what we have done in the uh, recording session. So let me click on this button and say see what's happened here. Yes. So now I'm switching on this. Okay. Hi students. Uh, this is David. Uh, I'm going to discuss today on graphical representation of data. I'm going to little shrink it and I'm going to move it this place. Yeah. So that's good. That's cool, right? It has recorded your webcam and also recorded your screen for your students to have an offline video and also it can be uploaded to stream. So what you can do right now at this stage is you can go ahead with two options. One is you can download this video and upload it to YouTube or upload it to any other uh, service or you can even share it offline to the student. So how do I do that? There is a three dots over here in the right corner. So you can click on this button and click on the download over there. So that will download the recorded lecture right now over here. Or you can click on this button called upload to stream. That's what we are going to do right now. So let me click on this button called upload to stream. So what is that going to do is it's going to upload my video. So right now it is uploading my video. So by the time I this gets uploaded, let me add the name for the video. Let me just write testing recording over there and I can just write the description of the video and also having them hashtags for the students to easily searchable in the Microsoft stream itself. And I'm actually uh, by default the video language is set up to English. And if you are making it in different language, then please make sure that you choose the language over here so that the video caption will be in place without any trouble. That's all. And the other one is actually there is a button called allow everyone in your company to view this video. If you want everybody in the company means everybody in your organization wants to see this video, then you can click on this. Otherwise, you don't have to do that. Once it's complete uplo completed the uploading process, then you will see that Bapradan publish is active and then you can start uploading your, uh, sorry, you can start publishing your work. So there is also a button called save video file that also downloads the video file. Make sure that you don't come to this stage because this uploading, this, this place will definitely upload the video to the people. Sorry, video to the screen. Once this process is done, sorry, once the uploading has been done, I don't have to really wait for the processing to be done. I can publish it. So let me click on publish and that is published my video. You can go ahead and click on this update video details to set up your permissions and then uh, to tell uh, which group of the people has to be watching this video, etc, etc in your stream. So now I'm going to just click on this go to video to see how my video looks into the Microsoft stream website. So this is the video which we have just recorded and that is available in Microsoft stream under yes. this. So now I'm switching and share this link to the students or I can add this link as a tab in my Microsoft Teams so that the students will be able to see the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video with an interesting idea or interesting tips. Thank you.